test to evaluate a video, a uh, fairly short evaluation for the day. At the beginning of it, a narrator said, I could not find February 2017 minutes for council meetings or something in a, in a specific city. At the 2 minute and 36 second mark, the screen shows the, it's the third one up from the bottom. It's not missing, nor are any of the others. At 3 minutes and 10 seconds, a call connects. Courtesy is exchanged and a request is made for said record. Offer to scan and send is made and agreed upon without, with while ominous music is playing in the background to affect how you think. If you hear ominous music in the background in a video that's supposed to be purely informational, especially if it's supposed to be presenting evidence of any kind, please be on guard that you're being manipulated. At the 3 minute and 57 second mark, reassurance it will get done, no mention of where it is sent, is made, and then the call ends. And then the narrator then tells you what you're supposed to think of this. Now I want to point out something. This is actually a set of, of excerpts from Open Secrets YouTube channel, according to the YouTube video description. And it leads to a now redacted, never archived, full vid of the phone call without any of the edits that are obviously going on here. This was a call to Shane Evans, who is now a former Carroll County Chief Deputy Prosecutor and or Delphi Mayor, uh, according to the description. Mayor itinerary and city council meeting minutes weren't found on the city council archives, according to True Crime Design, which is uh, holding this shortened, heavily edited video. The video then includes statements like, We bring to light Delphi, Flora, and Carroll County, Indiana, appalling corruption, while apparently hinting at or seeking an alibi for somebody on the day that the girls went missing in 2017, bringing up a Class D felony that's only pertinent if, it, pertinent if a public official is proven to recklessly, knowingly, or intentionally destroy or damage public records, which, again, at the 2 minute and 36 second mark, the screen shows they weren't missing unless the person clicked it and couldn't get anything. It doesn't show the person doing it or saying they tried to, and both of the people on the phone are acting as if they can't see it. Now, I want to point out something. If I was taking this phone call and I was computer literate, now I don't know if I'm an atypical case, but the first thing I would say is tell me the exact URL you're using or how you got there. And apparently that part's been edited out, along with how this person was supposed to get a copy of the minutes sent to them. But it would have amounted to me saying immediately, yes, it's there. Well, I can't see it. Oh, you can't? It's the third one from the bottom. Look at the screen again. Now, I can show you why this might have confused somebody, because it confused me and probably will confuse you when you click it. Let's look at this. This is me cleaning it up. Uh, okay, not cleaning up. This is me forcing it to fit on one screen. These are the pertinent time and date stamps for February of 2017. There are one, two, three records. Only one of them has second month and second day indicated, which would indicate maybe we're dealing with a month day or a day month format. Yes, this is a pet peeve. ISO format says that this has to be the century, year, month, day. ISO format is used by default in most computer file systems. And it doesn't mean anything because the website could have a completely time and different, a different time and date stamp because the date the minutes were done might be a day before they were uploaded. Okay, all right, but we're seeing some consistency. If you see numbers larger than 12 over on this column, that means this has to be the month. And yes, I hate two digit years, so thankfully they didn't use that, but that means this is the month. Okay, so let's look for anything with the two in it. Well, there's the three, and these are called Board of Works minutes. So I look for them too. Now here are the council minutes. Now I organize them chronologically. There's the one that's supposed to be missing. Again, that was fourth from the bottom. Now, I looked for anything else with a two in it, and I probably made a mistake here, but this one here, even if you swap this around, you'd find something with a two in either of these locations. It wasn't missing, even at the time. Period, full stop. And that's for the archived council minutes for 2017. Now, let's review here. This video was uploaded recently. Well, okay, in this year. 
That means you're asking for somebody to provide an alibi over five years later. Why? And why would a city council meeting or some other thing like that be there? Now, I'm sure the person in the rest of the video is talking about other forms of proof that were missing, but it wasn't. Now let's move on. Board of Public Works and Safety, February 2nd, 2017. Again, this is the wrong format. It should be 2017-02-02, and it should never have any change to it. And then it should be followed immediately with 9 a.m. and take up less space and would be impossible to be ambiguous. And this is what we call a one-pager. This is literally somebody signing off, Mayor Shane Evans, on what was discussed or not. This is the I'm bringing this up because I'm going to bring up everything from that month. I want you to know that's a one-pager. That's pretty typical for a city council or any other meeting, right? I mean, they, they can go on for hundreds of pages for big towns, but okay, here we go. Here's another one. Slightly different font or maybe a different focal length. And if I want to, I can go through and figure out what these marks refer to, and I'm sure that it's the binder format that was used, but there, there it is. And it was scanned on a certain day. Probably after this, but it could have been done the same day. After these were done and everybody signed it, they uploaded it. And one of the things that for security reasons, you either do or do not include the color of the ink. For security reasons, you're not supposed to upload openly in public a color version of someone's signature because then it can be used to forge checks. But here we go. Here we go with Board of Public Works again. Again, this is dumb, but anyway, February 6th. And again, oh, now we have a three-pager. There's more stuff that happened. Okay. Now we're going to do Common Council February 6th, which is not near the time the girls went missing. So why would, they, why would somebody bring up the word alibi in their description for this subject matter? Okay, hold on. Let, let me do this right way. I'm going to not dramatically page down. You can pause the video and read it. It's a full screen video. There's even a little ed editing going on here. Okay, so let's review. Someone put up a YouTube video with dramatic music and I'm saying they're witch hunting the mayor. They have a personal ax to grind. They're trying to fuse together the murders in Delphi with murders in another area. Number one. Number two. They're literally dead ass staring at a screen showing what they say they can't find because apparently, A, it's hard to read. Well, yeah, it was. It's a real jumbled mess. Or B, I don't get, I don't know it. Next, the original source of this that's not redact, that is now redacted, that was never archived, that would have the unedited version of this so we can see exactly what happened is missing somehow. Why? It's not being suppressed by the government because then they just shut down everything about it and you'd never hear about this. Nobody would have a YouTube channel. I get flagged for insulting the memory of Adolf Hitler, so which is dumb. So everybody can be censored on the internet, okay? The Open Secrets YouTube channel had a video with all of this in it and would answer a lot of questions. Instead, we get an edited version with dramatic music where the person is literally staring at the information they say they can't find. Can't tell if they're trolling or not. And obviously, the pieces that were edited out mentioned how it was sent and etc., now, if it was me, again, if I was doing the gatekeeping for this group and organization, I wouldn't have redirected someone to the mayor's office over being missing a file on the internet. This seems really hinky to me. What does this really seem like? I think it's a staged video, but I don't know. Can't prove it. So let's try something simple. The first thing out of my mouth would be, the file's there, you're just not seeing it. It's fourth from the bottom or whatever. Third from the bottom. Well, I don't see it. Click the one that's third from the bottom and see what it says when you click it. Okay. Oh, oh there it is. Yes. Anything else? No. Goodbye. I'm sure there were some more questions because not only was the, uh, it was supposed to be the mayoral itinerary and the city council meeting minutes. They didn't get to the mayoral itinerary or I didn't sit through the video long enough because I found the use of dramatic music and the obviousness of this error the only thing that needs to be critiqued. After this critique is responded to, then we'll talk about the rest of the video. But the basis for the video being valid is a person doing something that proves they literally weren't looking at the screen. But then again... This is kind of jumbled up, and I'm, I'm not even making it look nice here, but they should organize it by time and date stamp so they wouldn't have confusion. But again, all anybody would have to do if they knew what they were talking about, this is why you hire a geek to do this, is say, yeah, it was the third from the bottom. It's right there. It's not missing. You can click it yourself and print it out. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And uh, I don't find that video channel to be very 
credible anymore. Bye.